very first question they were asking meiosis occurs in and mentioning whether it is the testis ovary adrenal or hypothalamus see when it comes to meiosis it is two stage process meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 but before that the mitosis has to take place let us look at the flow diagram first before we talk more about this you'll find that in the beginning there will be a primordial germ cell for male female alike and that will be undergoing mitosis to give some gametogonia and then gametogonia will give us gametocyte this primary gametocyte which could be primary oocyte or uh, primary spermatocyte will then undergo meiosis that will be meiosis 1 and then the secondary gametocyte will undergo meiosis Two. So there are two stages of meiosis, but before that, mitosis keeps happening. Let us uh, draw this diagram ourselves as well now. So we are talking about the primordial germ cell, which is going to give us the gametogonium, and uh, it is the gametogonium which is going to give us the primary gametocyte. Now understand that uh, this could be a male or female. So here you can have primary spermatocyte or primary oocyte, and uh, all these conversions are occurring with the help of uh, mitosis here. Now, as you say, this was uh, mitosis taking place. After that begins the meiosis. So, which cell will be undergoing meiosis, especially meiosis 1? Now, obviously, it could be primary spermatocyte or primary oocyte. But remember, spermatogenesis begins only after puberty is achieved. Since the primordial germ cells remain dormant till puberty in male, so, primordial germ cells are dormant until puberty and only after puberty is achieved, you can see the primary spermatocyte coming up there. That means meiosis in male happen only after puberty is achieved. Now, it is different for a female. In a female, the meiosis would have started quite early, actually before birth, when the female baby was in utero itself. So, primary oocyte would have entered meiosis 1 while the baby was still in mother in utero. Actually, when you look at a girl baby born at birth, you'll find the ovaries having the primary oocyte already entered into meiosis 1. So, oogenesis begins before birth, whereas the spermatogenesis begins after puberty. Anyhow, let us go back to the question then. So this was our question asking meiosis occurs in and we can very well mark our answer as the ovary. Choice number B should be our answer here. As uh, meiosis occurs only in the gonads and uh, the male gonads, it will begin only after puberty is achieved.